So this is segments and congruence. So first off, we've got to start with some definitions, some terms. First one is postulate, and you're going to see this a lot in the geometry book. Okay? So postulate is simply a rule that is accepted without proof. It's something real simple. And we have two postulates here, so I think you'll get the idea of what I mean here. So ruler postulate. Okay? This is the distance between two points is the length of a segment. Let me say that again. The distance between two points is the length of a segment. Okay? Something real simple. How do you measure something? If we wanted to measure the length of AB, well, we would put our ruler at A and just measure to B, right? Well, on a number line, these numbers might be positive. They might be negative. So we have this equation right here. And that simply says if we're going to measure the length of a segment, in this case it's AB, we're going to take the absolute value of the second point and subtract the first point, okay? And that will always give us a positive value, which lengths or distances are always positive, right? Okay, we also have the segment addition postulate. Okay, so this one says if B is between A and C, then AB, or the length of AB, plus the length of BC will always equal the length of AC, okay? So let's take a look. If we look at this line, we have a line with points A, B, and C. B is between, just like it says, between A and C. And if we added the length AB to the length BC, we would get the length of AC. So you can see how postulate is just kind of something real simple, okay? We also have congruent segments. And this is simply line segments that are the same length. Okay? And the way, what we do is we use this symbol here. And that symbol means congruent. Okay? It's just an equal sign with this little, this little thing above it. Okay? And the way you're going to see it in diagrams is you're going to see it this way. So here we have line segment AB and we have line segment CD. And we have these little marks between them. Okay, these little marks, since they both have the same mark between them, they're trying to say that this line segment is congruent to this line segment. Okay? So this does not mean that the lengths... We don't want to say that lengths are congruent. Okay? We want to say that lengths are equal. So when we talk about lengths, we can say that AB is equal to 5. And if it's congruent to CD, that means the length of CD is also 5. Okay? So whenever we have numbers or lengths, those can always be equal. But segments are congruent. So we can't say that AB, segment AB is equal to CD because they're not equal. They're different things. So here we would write it as AB is congruent to CD. All right? So let's look at some example problems. So example one says find AC. So here's our diagram. We just take a look at it. And if we look at it, we can see that we know that AB is 5 and BC is 3. So if we want to find AC, all we have to do is combine those two together. And that's not a good pen. Go back to the red. And there's our answer. Okay. So example number two it says find CD. Okay. Now CD, if we look at it, it's not the whole length. The whole length is CE, right? But you guys have all had algebra. This should be pretty easy. Let's take a look at it. We know the whole length is 15, and we know that the piece that we don't want to find is 10. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to subtract the 10. So 15 minus 10 will give me that little piece left over, right? So 15 minus 10, I get 5. So I know that CD, its length is 5. And one final example, example number 3. Now we're going to deal with a little bit of algebra, okay? So A, B, and C, it says solve for X. Well, here's our X. It's the length AB. And we know that BC is 3, and we know that the whole length, AC, is 15. So I'm going to set it up as an algebra equation. I'm going to say 
based on the segment addition postulate that this segment plus this segment should be equal to the whole thing, which is 15. So x plus 3 equals 15. And again, real easy algebra problem. Just going to subtract 3 from both sides, and we solve for x. And we are done. Okay, so that was segments and congruence.